Welcome, 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 guys and girls to Randy's Den. We got a shorty buddy goody here looking at uh, something I've been struggling with actually for, uh, eh, eh, just had my moments, I guess we'll say. Always fighting with how to sharpen scissors, and they do sell actually <coughs> uh, scissor sharpening suggested tools I guess you could say now these are first off if you got a set like this this is for the knife this guy here so you need this part here and that's for the scissors but they gotta be at the right angle um, as you're setting your scissors down in basically they sit like this you stick them through and you just kinda squeeze on them just a little bit and you just roll it in and out and this little bar in here actually oh, moves and actually twists back and forth. Uh, it, it ain't bad. It works, I guess. Kind of works. Uh, it's quickie but goody, I guess. Uh, these actually says right on it here. Uh, scissors are this one, this opening right here. Where you see my thumb. And it says skizzers. And now this one you got to use, you got to flip it when you use it from one side to the next. And you got to make sure again that you get the right angle. Because if you're going in and you're going like this, but you're not flat on that bar with your cutting edge here. Now if you could see, I actually bring in so you can see, see I've marked it red so that way... I can show you see how that is real fancy red now we got three different types actually here um, and I'll show you each way basically this one has very flat edge you see there's no marker on that nothing now right here there is so it's zoop and that's just how they are a lot of scissors are set up that way where it's flat on one edge the other edge is sharp and they'll just cut like this that's the way they work um and then you got these guys too this one is flat and flat now if you look you'll see they're both they're both red they're both exactly the same in fact these are actually cheap scissors, but I actually really like these. Uh, the other thing too with scissors that happens a lot is you get a cheap pair of scissors and they're really sloppy. They're, you go like this and you, you just hear them flapping back and forth. Uh, is what you're going to want to do is tighten them up. First thing you're going to want to do first is look down the blades, look right down it. Make sure, look down the cutting edge, make sure it's nice and straight. And then uh, so what you're going to want to do, straighten it up, and then you're going to want to take that edge and clean it up if you can. Um, but back to, the, to tighten that, you're going to want to actually probably get a punch in one like this. You're going to want to get a punch and punch the center. But you're also going to have to have a space, uh, uh, not a spacer, but a cylinder that fits down in the hole here. Otherwise you're just mashing it against the plastic when you're banging on it. And that's not going to do any good. You're going to end up breaking them. Uh, you got the other kind here. And you got the slotted screwdriver hole. And these are actually, you just put a screwdriver in there and tighten them. Uh, so what I like to do is tighten them to their tight too tight actually but then close the scissors close them and you'll feel a little bit of friction but all of a sudden you'll feel them loosen right up then so you're going to want them tight right at first um, and make sure you get a little oil in there too if they're loose that'll help before you tighten them that'll definitely help them out a lot and uh, then this kind this is the odd kind here now if you look at this kind now you can see that it's like a, a copper rivet or a pinion that actually fits over it, ring pinion type. Uh, 
I guess it's kind of, yeah, like riveted, I guess you'd kind of say. Um, but you're thinking, what? Well, how the heck are you going to you gonna tighten something up like that? Well, I actually had to already tighten these up, and I had to get something that fit around the pin so it would push on that copper piece, the flange of the copper here, and then same thing on the other side, and then put the copper on the vise, on top of the vise, and now you're thinking, wow, what the heck, I ain't got any type of uh, bushings or anything like that that'll fit over it. And if you think about it, most of us do. Your uh, socket sets. Just pick out, roll through your socket sets. They're all different sizes, all different varieties. And just find one that just is a little bigger than what that little tiny pin in the center is. So it hits on the copper and then find another one. Actually, I even think quarter inch fits. If I got one here, if it'll come out naturally, it wants to fight. It, uh, nope, too big. I lied. Now I look dumb. I'm dumb. Very dumb. So that didn't work out too good. But anyways, um, so once you get them all nice and tightened up, you can work them back and forth and they're super tight. And your edges, I like to even look right down. Look right down like this and look at the light. And make sure there's no space. Sometimes you'll get them, there'll be a space here. And then when you close it all the way, that space just keeps growing and growing until they're all the way closed. And then you have a big gap right here. That ain't going to do any good. So you got to have it running down that edge the whole time. A lot of times you can feel it. Um, then... Once you're ready on that edge, now this one again, this is a has the 90 degree edge, okay? If you see it on that, so that's flat. Now the hard part is staying at a 90 with the tool like this. Now you can use a file. I've used files before. You can run the file down them. Doesn't matter really which way you go. Uh, these got the little grooves, so you're going to want a little rounded file to fit down in here and do that doesn't matter which way you go with these and you're going to want to take is what you're going to want to do is take that marker right off um here i'll do it with this one quick just a spot just to show you if i can we'll see and you gotta be careful sometimes you get these really sharp and then you'll end up cutting yourself these, I, I'm having a hard time to sharpen. That's why I decided to make the video. But if you can see there, on these, eee, where are we there? Yeah, see right there? The red is gone. Where'd it go? There, come on. Right there. See where the red is gone? That's exactly what you want to do. Then do the same thing on the other side. And again, these scissors are odd. This is another 90 degree side. So it sits just like this, a 90. If you're looking down it, that's going to be a 90 right down through it. So um, you're going to want to take the marker off of both sides. And then lastly, or the final thing we're going to want to do, is you're going to want to, like this tool I use, and I, I think it's uh, actually some good it's non-magnetic. I don't actually know what kind of metal it is, but it's it's some hardened steel. It works pretty good. And you're going to want to run it down the edge here. And again, you can put marker down this whole flat edge. But you're going to want to do this last. And I'll show you why. Because as you're sharpening here, we got... Here's the spot that we have markered. Oh, that's showing up real good. But as we're filing or as we're running this down the blade, the way this one's made, you're running this down the blade. So what happens is you get these little edges and you can feel them. You can take, actually take your fingernail and you can go on like this and go off the edge and you'll feel it click, click, click. And you don't want to have that because that's going to interfere with the other blade coming down. So you have these on here. And then as you do this edge, go against this. Now again, this is a sharpening stone. So I'm trying to give you a variety of how each one is. Run your sharpening stone down this way. 
Now these you're going to want to sharpen away uh, from the edge away. So, and just what it'll do is it'll take out that, it'll take them out and clean up that edge for you. Because these little whiskers ain't going to do anything good. They're going to, they're going to just make it a pain in the rear end. Right in the toughest, you know. So, you're going to have these whiskers if, as you do your top edge. And then you're going to want to file or even use the sharpener here and knock them right down and clean this edge right up and square it right up nice. So then both edges can fit right along each other nice and tight and just And uh, that's uh, pretty much about it. Now again, I got just four different types. I think it's four. I think I can count that high. Uh, this is kind of a tool. It's made for knives, scissors. Uh, even actually it works uh, good for a little, I uh, sharpen these up sometimes, the little razor blades, the ones that come in a pack of 10 or something. Um, you could go through a pack a week. I mean, the things are like four or five bucks for 10 of them. So it adds up. So I'm pretty cheap, as you know. And they get dull pretty quick because they sell them with such a good sharp edge on them. So, um, and then you can use the file. I think I'm going to try to finish this one off with the file. Maybe I can do it quick to show you guys here and uh, see how it turns out. 